Create unbelievable animated videos with just one phrase or your own script. InVideo has so many amazing abilities with the new V3 update. In addition to our full tutorial, we have extremely useful tips and hacks to save time and make your life easier, as well as covering the video, editor inside of InVideo, and more. Let's dive deep. Before the hacks, let's uncover a few useful tips. When you open the NVIDIA AI website in a browser, after logging in, you can press this button at the top and get NVIDIA as a browser app. Press the install button. After that, press yes to get an icon in your taskbar. Next time, just press this icon and NVIDIA will open in a separate browser as a browser app. If you decide to leave the icon on your desktop, you can now open a few browser windows, all with different content on NVIDIA. This can be useful for comparing two videos together for example anyway it will still just be a browser and you keep full control so you can delete or adjust anything just don't switch off this toggle by accident so you keep in video as an app in a separate browser briefly let's uncover a few hidden buttons a very comfortable button appeared on in video recently called see all here at the top we can still use the button from before on the bottom of the left menu called show all don't forget that these beautiful pictures are frames from videos that were already rendered so we can't change the material inside if we need to change or regenerate something we have to press either the see all or show all buttons choose your video from the list that opens with these buttons to generate a new video we can use the create new button which does the same as the create AI video button just in different sections the add-ons button gives us the ability to buy extra minutes for example if you need just one minute of full generative video or animation this can be useful media library to be honest I never use it but we have the ability to upload our own media to in video and add it to our video we can also create folders to separate media and keep everything organized on the bottom of the left menu we have an AI minutes button to track how many minutes we already use and how much is left to use this month when we are in a section with a magic box the button with arrows on the bottom of the left menu allows us to keep the menu open or or collapse it now let's explore an in video subtitle hack even if you selected don't add any subtitles when you started creating a video the system inside still keeps the transcript of the video after downloading the video you can copy or change the description and the title for your social media if you are not happy with it on the download button we can see an arrow that lets us download subtitles but if you can't see this button just refresh the page using the control and R keys or just load the video again once we press the download subtitles button we will get a file with an unusual extension called SRT this is how it looks in notepad plus plus what can we do with this open CapCut and go to the text section then just press import caption file after that drag the file into the timeline with our video and we can adjust and decorate the captions from there same in Premiere Pro but just import directly into the project drop it into the timeline with our video then select the captions to adjust and decorate them how you wish in the text section these ways make it much easier and give you much wider abilities to adjust everything you need one subscriber asked how to add an extra clip to our video in between other clips this is possible in the editor first press the edit button then go to the script section right click on a line of the script and press add segment then press the plus button and select if you want stock or generative media now let's explore in video Video's new video editor the download button has one more option export project to timeline first of all we can see a disclaimer that this editor is still in the beta version when I looked at it for the first time I was very confused I don't know what this is it's a very unusual editor I found one tutorial on YouTube it is a new amazing program. We all have to learn it now. It looks unfinished since it is still in the beta version. To be honest, just for now, I avoid using it. Waiting for an update from NVIDIA. I'm sure soon it will be amazing, just like the rest of NVIDIA. If you need to add extra edits, I recommend using Premiere Pro or CapCut. Even the CapCut free version is amazing. Here's the link to my in-depth tutorial about CapCut. Using a professional editing program is the best and easiest way to add more complex edits if needed. By the way, one day I uploaded a video
video to YouTube that I generated on InVideo and I got a notification about a copyright claim. I was so shocked and probably if I appealed the claim I would win. But to save time I decided to just change the music. InVideo gives us the rights to use the stock footage and music with its videos. So if you get a copyright claim just contact InVideo and they will help you. But if you are paranoid like me just change the music inside of InVideo. Go to the edit section then press the music section. Press stock music on the right and then the gear icon to open the music settings. Here just leave the YouTube toggle switched on. And by the way you can also choose which source you want to use for your stock footage. Press the edit button and go to the media section. Press stock media and here just click on the gear icon on the right again. Here you can choose which stock sites in video will use for your stock footage. Now go back to the media section where you have all of your stock footage at the top. You can right click one of the frames and press show all controls. Extra settings will now appear where you can change the speed, make it full screen or even open the video in a separate window. This can be useful from time to time. Here is one more hack to help us create amazing prompts. A good prompt is the most important step to generating great videos. If we press the generative picks button and click on a video we like, we can find some amazing prompt commands which we would never get if we just used the templates. I researched all of the generative picks examples and you can find the best commands to use in your prompts in a Google Doc link in the description. Even if you want to use a template, when you jump into the magic box, add some of our amazing commands to make your result much better. I hope something in this tutorial will be useful for you. All animated cartoons in this video were from our How to Create Viral Pixar Style Animated Cartoons in Minutes. Step by step tutorial video. Watch it on my channel. Thanks for watching. Good luck.